Director of Defence and Space at Curtin University here with Defence West at the Defence West stand at Avalon, uh, having a great week. Probably the, one of the largest universities around space in Australia. We cover everything from radio astronomy, optical astronomy, electro-optics, you name all the disciplines, but we're also translating that those basic science foundations around uh, you know, looking at the universe, looking at the planets, into, for example, defence applications, and that's why we're here. Uh, we've got a few things going on. Uh, clearly, we made the announcement uh, about a few months ago around NOVA and, and our Curtin Institute of Radio Astronomy doing a passive radar site in Peterborough in South Australia and uh, building that up for, for JP9360 and uh, we're going to continue developing that and, and that's really accelerating through to, so quite exciting. Um, lots of things happening with our space science and technology they are going to launch their BINA 234 hopefully at the end of this year uh, and plus BINA Prospector for the moon mission so they're all developing and then our Desert Fireball Network uh, which is our optical track where we track all the meteorites is really now focusing on you know how can we bring that optical data um, into what we're seeing around the earth so quite exciting. It's a really strong underlying momentum with uh, small medium businesses coming into the space industry and the defence industry, learning how to translate out of under areas like resources, agriculture, uh, that. So great crossover of, and that innovation is really unique, that translation is really unique. So WA's got this lot of space, a lot of opportunity, a lot of remote operations, uh, a lot of autonomous operations. Uh, and a scale that no one else has. So we're used to building big infrastructure quickly. So that great opportunity for WA.